Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa, Universalis Voice, Catholic Ottomans. We are at war with Portugal and Yahoo and Jolof. Uh, did I actually send my armies there? Yeah. Um, right, we are overextended, but it will be rectified shortly. And I also need to conquer some Portuguese lands now. So let's take those troops also. I should probably march some down here. Because I do want to take lands in this vicinity. Actually, it is enough if I, I think, take one fort here and one fort here, then they should actually be inclined to give me whatever I want. Mm, right. We're also at war with Aragon, but um, we still haven't sieged everything, so that will have to wait. All right. Mm, lots of troops in Great Britain. We don't need that many troops in Great Britain. Also, it might be a good idea, yeah, let's remember to um, do the treaties. You know, revocation and all that. Mm, guarantees, alright. California, Alaska, Canada, Great Britain and Castile. Let's make sure to do that before I forget. Influence. Proclaim guarantee. Um, do we have a truce with you? Yes, Louisiana. Ah, we don't have any diplomats. What are my diplomats doing? Ah, returning. Um, I suppose I no longer need to be supporting those rebels, but I will keep doing that because they give me... Um, they give me vision. Okay, let's get all you guys here. We'll probably attack you, say, soon. I'll add Louisiana, yeah. I mean, we do have a truce, so I'll need to... Uh, wait a minute, our truce with the USA is very short. Just make sure to not guarantee the wrong people. Uh, Louisiana. Oh, good thing I didn't actually guarantee Louisiana. We only need California, Canada, Great Britain, and Castile, because Alaska is still a subject. Okay, good thing I didn't have the diplomat. Mm. Also, are we ready to attack Brazil? Well, our troops are still marching, so our subjects could do the, mm, could do the job. Um, oh, again, I don't have a diplomat. So, let's go here and manage manage this army. Canada has rivaled us, that is not a surprise. Right, you guys get on the ships, and the ships will bring you to Indonesia. Don't dock on the way, just so you don't take attrition. Where exactly should I put them? Here, probably. We need to take a fort. Yeah, right. Now, guarantees and revocations. Um... Can't revoke yet. It was supposed to be California. Yeah, we do have a long truce with you. Proclaim guarantee. Great Britain. Cannot... Oh, they're a rival of ours. Really? Shouldn't that expire? I suppose it probably will expire soon. Um, okay, so that was Great Britain, California, and Castile. Let's not forget Castile. We have recently sent a diplomat. All right, I can wait. And Great Britain is no longer a valid rival, which means I can, in fact, guarantee them. But we have recently sent them a diplomat, annexing their lands. So let's guarantee Castile. Now, mm, troops are traveling properly. Yeah, this is fine. Um, looming disaster will be averted once we have cord stuff. So, yeah, I will be able to get overextended um, possibly two more times until I get proper legitimacy. Um, how long is my truce with you? Oh, three years only. Wonderful, wonderful. We will conquer you shortly. Same with USA. That'll be glorious. All oh, right. Um, yeah, I need to wait for the diplomats to return. Revolt in Dresden, revolutionaries. Hmm, not a big deal. So, um, did I guarantee Great Britain yet? I did not. Let's do that. And now it's time to revote guarantees. Uh, starting with Canada. Come on, get me the diplomat. Right, revoke guarantee from Canada. Uh, revoke guarantee from uh, California. Castile and Great Britain, but we don't have diplomats for that. Also, we have far too many troops in Great Britain. 
If I am inclined to attack USA, I will need a lot of troops. Although they are not very developed at this stage, so... It's nowhere near as powerful as today, so yeah, let's just split those troops properly. And use our ships to get some more. Oh, mothers. Uh, right, do I need to dock them before they get anywhere? So that they can, don't get um, months at sea. Maybe right, I will send you here. Pick up so many tr as many troops as I can. And wait for a diplomat so we can revoke a guarantee from Great Britain and Castile. Come on. Also, I'm not sure if uh, the beginning of the episode recorded correctly because, mm, yeah, the timer didn't show it properly. Um, I hope it did. You know, the introduction and all that. Yeah, right, let's wait for the next one. Let's see if I did not forget anyone. Mm, no, I did not. Mm, it will soon be time to annex some people. Yeah, our Diplo rep is not the best, but we will still be able to perform annexations. We can always get the advisors and policies if it's necessary. Uh, lacking cause, that is understandable. Conquer Tidore in Trebizond. And dispute the succession in Japan. That is all fine. You guys please conquer Aragon. Oh, wait a minute, maybe I'm ready to piece them out. Let's see. Are you willing to give me all of Italy? You are! Okay, they will be left with two provinces. That is perfect. Um, although I do need to transfer the occupation. Who has claims here? Croatia has claims here. That means... oh. Shit. Yeah, this has not been sieged yet, so I cannot transfer it to anyone. In such a case, I will wait until it is sieged. Would you guys please go and do it? Come on, Ferrara. Where's Ferrara? Maybe we can send Croatia to do it. And Ferrara. If I can find Ferrara. Here you go. Please go and do that. Mm, Argon does have a big navy, which could be a problem. I suppose I can always take those provinces instead. Although I would like to avoid growing Switzerland too much. Mm, right, where are my ships? Also, yeah, those troops should not be standing in one province. Uh, the enemy has four forts, so I suppose I can split you in four to be sieging all of them. Here we go. That should be quick. Now, still, Jolov should be the priority since they are not cobalt and they are the junior partner in the war. I suppose it's not a problem. Wait a minute, Portuguese revolutionaries in my... Oh right, I am supporting them so they cannot desiege my stuff. Good, good, very good. Oh right then. Mm, are my troops near Brazil yet? No. I suppose I can declare war right now. Mm, we no longer have a truce, we could do conquest. Imperialism is always better. I might actually transfer siege to my colonial nation and then give it to them because this way we'll get a bonus for giving provinces in peace, I believe. Mm, right. And uh, Peru is next. That will conclude South America, because I'm going to take this province from Portugal. And um, after that we will move to Mexico. Or maybe to USA, because we have more troops here. USA is allied with Louisiana. Um... That truce will expire soon as well. Canada, did I revoke the guarantee? Yes. Uh, Louisiana is quite big. I'm not sure I will be able to take them in a single war. No, I won't. But two wars is fine. Oh, same with USA. You're very developed in those provinces. So that's two wars against USA and Louisiana. I hope we can we can manage to do it. That I hope we have enough time. Um, okay, Yao and Jolof. We still have Congo, but Congo can wait a little bit. They are now, now they're weak and small. So Ferrara, would you please go and do stuff, as I told you to? Are you loyal to me? 
They're not. I'm not feeding you then. You're yeah, right. Hmm. It will take some time before my armies reach this area. And my second navy is bound for Great Britain, but it will also take them some time. Uh, right. Leaders are not a problem. But of Gobia. Yeah, um, our military should be vastly superior to theirs, so we should not really. We really shouldn't worry about uh, uh, their, um, their armies. We could worry about overextending our people too much. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. Right, um, let me check up on my navies. Right, you guys are in place. So if I'm attacking USA first, I'll just transport those troops here. Oh, did I? Mm, right, I did declare war against Brazil, but I did not move my troops to intercept. Uh, do you have any forts? Any whatsoever? Wait a minute, you have no forts. Where's your capital? Really? Did I take your capital? Come on, Brazil, where's your capital? Is this it? No. I'm obviously missing something important. Oh, this is Brazil as well. Of course it is. Okay. Here's the capital. But our subjects are already dealing with it. Hmm. They do have an army. Maybe I should take care of the army first. Okay. Uh, Yao under siege. Good. Oh, you have taken a province. Mm, let's move you to Jolov. I'll just focus on the force for now. Then we'll clean up the mess. And the fleet is... Um, on the way. Oh, well, they actually have suffered quite a bit of damage. I will need to repair them. Alright, I should be moving some troops into this area. Do I have any in continental Europe? I do have some. That's not a lot. I suppose I could get a new army. Or two. Let's do the default. One, two. And that's enough. We'll just send you over here to siege Portuguese lands. Also conquer Brunei and other places. And all the other places too. Fortunately our papal, our papal influence is crap, but I was able to get the legitimacy increase, which is quite important. Maybe I should change my advisors so we get a chance of... Uh... Hmm. Discipline is nice. I'd like to keep it. Don't really need that guy, so let's switch him. Um, and I will keep this guy, maybe get another theologian. Because um, then an event can fire that will give me free stability. Um, have we killed your army, Brazil? We have, we have killed your army. Right, carpet siege it is. Wait a minute. No, I can't move you. So now, you will be split into m many, many small armies that will in turn siege everything. Just about everything. Yeah. Let's be efficient about that. I'm not sure if I send someone here. Let's do that anyway. Yeah, right, someone to the capital just in case. Just in case they leave it. Okay, I think I'm only missing one province. That will be swift. Then we attack Peru and then we attack Mexico with those armies. Rather, UPCA. UPCA. And now. Um, how long is my truce with you again? That's, that will be five years. 
I suppose I'll keep an army here, but I could I could move it. Right, um, where's my other fleet? It's ready. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's land here so we can start using two force at once. Maybe shouldn't maybe I should focus on just one. No, we do want two. Oh shit. To go through the ship. Yeah, that's fine, I suppose. Hmm. Well, I have changed my mind. You will actually go to Barito. Uh, Brazil occupied. Yeah, great. Brazil will fall shortly. For now, this fleet is in place. I suppose those troops will be sufficient. Let me just check how many troops USA has. Um, USA. 42,000 troops. Yeah, that will be sufficient. I can actually use this fleet to move troops um, to Indonesia if we decide to do that. Uh, right. And this fleet will soon be going to be repaired slightly. Yeah, I do need to take those provinces to be able to actually demand uh, the colonial areas from uh, Portugal. Uh, right, the army is almost in position. Now the ships will travel here to be repaired and pick up some new troops soon. In the meantime, Brazil, are you ready to give me everything you own? What on Brazil? They will like it. Yeah, they are ready. Although I should be transferring everything to Ottoman Brazil. Um, they would like me more. Yeah, let's do that. That will just make them uh, very, very loyal, I think. A slight gamey trick. I hope it works. It might not. A little bit too much micromanagement, but... Not such a whole lot that it would be a problem. Yeah, we're giving it all to Ottoman Brazil. And oh, did I forget this one? Of course I of course I did. And those that we can transfer, we will transfer, and the rest will be transferred automatically. Uh, right, Brazil. Give me everything. Again. Oh crap, misclicked. I wonder if my colonial nations will help me in my wars in North America. Okay. And that's it. Goodbye, Brazil. Do you love me now? Gave province in peace. And that's not a huge modifier. Which means it was not worth doing. Uh, now, you guys, you guys all go to Peru, because that is our next target. Now, um, back here, is anything happening? Not really, not yet. Ayutthaya will soon break free from us. After that, we will attack and eat them. And after we finish our war with Portugal, I will actually start annexing some people, I think. At least one of our vassals. Why are you guys not conquering the Aragonese island? Hmm. I suppose I could just piece them out, taking some of the provinces. This will definitely go to Genoa. Okay. Uh, this will go to Trent, and this will go to Croatia. Oh crap, I can't transfer it because they're sieging it. Hmm. Damn it. Okay, Aragon. How much will you give me? I suppose I drop those provinces because they would go directly to me and I don't want to be overextended. 78. Actually, it's it's not that bad because so annul your treaties with Portugal and the Papal State to make things easier. And we will attack you soon to take the rest you have. Yeah, let's do that.
So it's not so rebellious. Mm. Now, Aragon, I do need to guarantee them. Cannot ally with a rival. Aragon is no longer a valid rival, so it doesn't matter. Come on, guarantee. And revoke. Oh, you got an awesome king. I wish I had one like that. And we're no longer overextended, which is nice. So we no longer have disaster progress. Okay, that was uh, overextended twice. We gained 31%. That means we can do it four more times, or three if we want to be careful. All right. I need to revoke this guarantee before I do anything else, because I might forget, and then it would be a problem. Okay, let me see the truces now. UBCA, next year. USA, same thing. Louisiana, same thing. Haiti, I can attack later. Canada, we'll have to wait a while. All right. So now it's time to Peru for Peru, and then we move north. Um, UPCA, who are you allied with? I would Haiti and California. And uh, that will be a little bit more fighting. Which means I will need my fleet here, which means I cannot send it to Indonesia after all. Well, at least I can use it to bring some more troops. I'll leave those to find to deal with the, the rest of Great Britain when it's time for that. Um, I suppose 42 heavies should be sufficient to deal with their, their fleets. Yeah, I think it should be. Uh, right, let's get you here. Um, I also have some more ships that, for some reason, are left here. Okay, everything seems to be in order. Now, um, Yao and Jolof, let's let's uh, pay let's pay attention to this. Oh, we lost some people in battle, apparently. Um, okay, you go and take that fort. Oh, wait a minute. There's an enemy army on your way. Ottoman Canada, wonderful. Finally formed. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, I can't stop during time. Alright, you guys support. I don't think they will be... Mm. That is certainly not a lot of resistance. Oh, they actually defeated us. Interesting. Maybe I should actually do it one by one. Also, it is time to end the episode now, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.